Welcome to the video! So basically I really wanted to talk about four note per string scale systems. So I would imagine Paul Gilbert may do something like this or maybe Vinny Moore because they're like pure alternate pickers. Well, without hammer-ons and pull-offs and things like that. I mean, when they are picking fast, they are using alternate picking. So uh, this was a system that I designed to use so I could um, play four note per string scales without having to do all the big stretchy stuff like this. Stuff like that, that was really way too difficult for me to do, so I, um, I basically designed this little position shifting system. So at a slower speed, um, it may sound something like this. By the way, it starts off at the 5th fret, so the A Dorian position, I guess, and I go through the um, G major uh, modes and diatonic positions. So this is what it would be like slow. By the way, this is pure alternate picking because all the notes are in groupings of 4, so it's down, up, down, up. There's no way you could uh, use economy picking. So this is what it would be like slow. So to execute these ideas, I think it would be a good idea to get yourself some type of thicker plectrum. This one's a 11 millimeters, I believe. And why I say I like to use a thicker plectrum is because when the when the pick is flexible, it's harder to execute it because the pick actually bends. So uh, with any type of scale kind of thing, I like to use a thicker plectrum. So see how it uh, goes straight through the strings? It's a lot more effortless. I don't really got to try too much to make this happen, so that's why I really do like a thicker pick. So uh, check into that, first of all, before you even try doing this. Unless you do like thin picks. I know some people, like Paul Gilbert, he really does like thin picks. So uh, maybe experiment with your uh, picks and stuff so it may help you. So that's my two cents about that. So I'm going to run through this passage one more time for you at a slow tempo. <laughs> So that's what it's going to sound like really, really slow, so you're going to really have to uh, focus on keeping your pinky at a at a position where it can slide like this. Because I'm doing the position shift with my pinky, I'm not doing it all four notes per string. Because that would be uh, really difficult like I stated earlier, so uh, try using your pinky and do a position shift with it. So I think that'll be it for this lesson, I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit me up for Skype guitar lessons, uh, I'll have the email in the description of the video and uh, leave a comment in the comment section below if you have a request, I'll probably get to it. Um, so that's going to be it for today, cheers guys.